visit to a local Camberwell drain pipe is certainly not something I thought I would be doing on a Sunday afternoon. Much like traditional cave exploring groups, the cave clan ventures into places most people wouldn't really want to go just to see what's there. What do you tell people when, you, when you're like, oh, I'm just going draining? Wait, what, I mean, what actually goes on with the cave clan? What do you guys do? Um, we basically, most, uh, most weekends we have sort of pre-scheduled sort of scheduled events and stuff, um, you know, sort of have a, a range of meeting time and, you know, near a, near a drain, you know, in whatever suburb we might happen to be in. And, um, yeah, we all sort of meet up and basically explore, explore tunnel systems and, um, you know, water tunnels and stormwater drains and things like that. It's urban exploring, so it's anything to do with, yeah, urban infrastructure, I guess. Um, it's all over the world, Cape Land's just one organised group, I suppose, in Australia. Mm. Um, yeah, lots of people, different people do it from all walks of life, I guess. Um, and yeah, it's, it's just pretty interesting. So what do I need to know to prepare myself for caving? Well, if the weather doesn't look like, if it looks any worse than what it is today, you probably wouldn't go in. You need a nice day, good, good weather. Um, no rain, uh, no drains when it rains is the motto. Um, do you have any other rules other than that one? Always urinate upstream. Um, that's a common one. Uh, and most people catch on to that pretty quickly, yeah. I think. Um, Code of ethics in place, which is basically just guidelines in which people should, I guess, go about business. Always good to, I guess, do it with at least one other person. Uh, if you go mm. by yourself, tell someone where you go in case something does happen. So it's pretty much safety first, isn't it? You're very smart about it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, there have been incidents where people have drowned in drains before, and um, we really want to try and distance ourselves from that as much as possible. Mm. Fortunately, none have been in the cave plan. Yeah, great. That we've known personally. So we really try and drill it into new members the importance of you know safety and whatnot. has been the subject of many rumours throughout the years, such as being a gothic band, ritualistic, and a group who uses drains as an escape after committing crimes. But after spending an afternoon with these friendly guys, I can assure you they are nothing but a group of mates checking out the unknown. It's into one spot, sort of in a featureless part of the drain, which we won by their names are just sort of red brick and you know, all features and stuff like that. Yeah. Sort of take a plain bit of time and The majority of drains the cave clan venture into are high enough to stand up in. Some are even enormous. But there are a few difficult drains where crawling, jumping or even sliding need to be done to manoeuvre your way around. But the best thing about these guys is not just their extraordinary curiosity or their impressive sense of direction, but their humbleness. The cave clan is not about who is the best and bravest, it's all just about enjoying yourself. Mm -hmm. 